What's up, everybody? Um, we are here at the podcast. Yes, I said podcast with my co-host. Introduce yourself, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Alonzo Horian. Um, we're here to chop it up. Talk about some NBA news. Chop it up. The podcast. We're going to chop it up. Well, we're both <laughs> Laker fans, you know, so... We're here talking about the NBA bubble right now, the NBA race to the playoffs. Yes, yes, yes. And we were just talking about how we already won the race. You know, your teams are still in the race, still running, asking for water, Gatorade. We already crossed the finish line, and we're just sitting there. We don't even have to run it anymore. We're going to play just because, you know, we're good sports. But we don't have to, you know. And so we're going to talk about that, talk about the playoff run, the playoff race. We're going to talk about certain players that have been breaking out and showing off okay we're going to talk about certain teams that are beating certain teams that shouldn't be beating those teams it's a lot on deck today but first shout out to our sponsor no i'm (laughs) oh anyway no 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 imagine we're going to talk about the lakers clinching the first seed yes yes now long time it's since 2010 very long time. since 2010 17th time in franchise (laughs) history Yes, ten years, a decade. Yes, and seventeen time in franchise history. I'm saying, listen, imagine because other franchises, this is their pinnacle, right? I mean, we won't name names, but there are certain franchises that do hang banners for this. Right. Or we don't even we don't even bother getting them made for the, these types of accomplishments, but it's a big accomplishment. You know what I mean? Our record was fifty one and fifteen this year. And we clinched it over the Jazz, which had Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player of the Year, right? He, right. He's a defensive beast. AD scored, uh, let me check my notes, 42 oh. points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block. Yeah. Yeah. So. And is he the one that, the reason why we're in the bubble? Yeah. Okay, okay see, you didn't have to bring that one up. Okay, that was a little petty. That was a little petty. It's true. It's true. And <laughs> but my thing is, I'm just confused. Because every time we win, it seems like there's always some other excuse. You know what I mean? You're not going to get AD. We got AD. You're not going to do well in the West. We did well in the West. Your defense isn't going to be great first in the West. You know what I mean? We clinched the first seed. Now, we're not going to be able to fill the void that Rondo leaves and stuff. We filled it with Dion. And Dion's not going to be that good. We did it. So it's like, what is next? What are you taking from this win? Like, just I'm, against I'm the Jazz in, in general. Yeah, I'm interested to see, like, how the rotation... Like, we're seeing, like, the... You know how they're rotating now? Mm-hmm. With the playoff rotation, I feel like it's getting a little tighter. We're not going to see certain players getting the, you know, the mix and stuff. I'm excited to see, like, what Frank Vogel is going to bring to the playoffs. Because we know playoffs is a different story. Come on now, playoff LeBron. We haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> right, we haven't even right. Seen him yet. Right. He's so, been he's been absent. He's been no, absent for a seen, year. Yeah, we haven't seen oh. yeah. He's been in hibernation and very well rest, rested. Yeah, no, yeah. And on top of that, our bench. Um, people don't give us enough credit. You know, we're not a deep team. There's so many teams deeper than us, but oh my gosh, look at the jazz game. Everybody right. was in the positives for the efficiency rate, right? Everybody right. except right. for one player. Can you guess who it was? I just want to see if you get it's, it's a it's a bench player. One player. Um a lot of memes. Wait. No, don't disrespect him. There's a lot of memes. Uh, Crusoe, lot of memes. Crusoe. No, no. You know it. You know it. Howard? A bench player, you know the the, the the memes, the memes, you know it. You know it. Oh, Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything's possible. Not last night. Yeah. No, so, it wasn't bad. It was just his his efficiency rating was, yeah. Yeah. How many minutes did he play? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he, he didn't do terrible, but it was just just the stats. That's what it was. But everyone else was in the positive. I think Kuzma's was like plus 12. I mean, right. come on now. 80 dropped the 40 piece, right? No, 36. No, 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 42. 42. 42. 42. It's just ridiculous because it's like our our bench isn't deep, but they're they're performing. So it's like what what can what else, you know, what else can we do to prove it? This is what I need for Lakers to do. Okay. Right? Um, for the future. We're playing for the future. Let's think. Right, right, uh, right. LeBron is not getting younger, right? So I'm going to need LeBron to not take a step back, but let Anthony Davis take control. And the playoffs is a prime spot for Anthony Davis to come out and show what he's about. 
And I think that he will. I don't know. Because he, but, think about it, he's our future. Yeah. But you know, you know good and well, LeBron doesn't take the back seat. I mean, come on now. You said what? LeBron does not take the back seat. And I think the no, way they're playing is his, his been working. I think right now, our focus should be just championship, point blank period. Right, 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 right. You right. Know? So if he needs to be like doing what he needs to do to be. He's um, doing fine. He's doing actually like great. He's leading the league in assists, actually. Which, which is, is insane. This is his first time ever. It's sick. It's sick when you think about right, it. Like right. all the point guards that are getting outdone by it, it's sickening. <laughs> I'd be feeling bad sometimes. It's like, wow, you right, allowed that. Right. But, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. But I think right now our focus needs to be on YouTube. championship. But right now, yes. Right now. So if LeBron needs to do that, he needs to. He needs to because, you know, like you said, he's not getting younger. He needs another ring. We need 17. Guess what? If we get 17 rings, the greatest franchise of all time debate is done. I mean, the only thing the Celtics have is the 17, and I still don't count. I don't care about that argument because, like we said, okay. They, right. they won those in days where half teams weren't even in the league. I mean, come on. Most of ours were won when they were. Huh? Right. Yeah. I so said, like 11 in a row. Exactly. Come on now. You know? And were, no, but those were the, the good old days. Oh, my gosh. The good old days. Yeah. No. So, I don't even... They, like, driving on their covered wagons to watch the game. And the, <laughs> we don't count those. Okay. We If we get 17, it's a total wrap. I mean, it's already a wrap to me, but it's a total wrap. But anyway, so how confident did this Jazz game make you as far as just the rest of the season and going into playoffs? Like, we clinched it. We're the only team, I think, that has clinched. How does this make you feel? Do you feel good? What's up with y'all? I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I feel great because we have hope in LeBron and AD. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's – we came into in the, in the NBA season knowing that they're going to produce. They're right. doing what they're doing. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? We got the first seed. We're just – Exceeding expectations at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, because ESPN ranked us what right, fourth right. or something. Yeah, I know. Because like, they ranked above like, us on all y'all rankings. Right, and it's just kind of disrespectful to me. Yeah. It's just like people really underrate the Lakers. On yeah, like and a it's weird. weird. Scale. Yeah, it's you know weird. Because yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's weird. You would never like underrate <laughs> LeBron and AD normally. Right, it's weird because we're on like prime time level. Like we're like we're the Dodgers. We're like with the Yankees. We're like with the you know, Patriot. We get those those NBA ratings. Yeah, get those yeah. up and then underrating. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't do that to the other teams. It's weird. It's 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 it's, it's a yeah. It's a weird dynamic, yeah, but it's weird. You no, know, we're just doing what we're doing. Honestly. That's all we have to do. Is what we do. We're not new to this. We're true to this. However, right. however, we just clinched first seed, but we're talking about the playoff race. Okay, eighth seed is what we need to be now focusing on because there are so many teams in contention. I literally have. A couple teams. First of all, the Mavericks are seventh, but they have a 40 and 29 record. The next best record is the Grizzlies at eighth seed, okay? 32 and 36. So I don't see them catching up to the, the Mavs. So Mavs are in playoff race. It's right now between the Trailblazers, Grizzlies, Spurs, Pelicans, and Kings. 100%. Right. They're all like one game away. It's so tight to where anybody right. could. Could take it really. I mean, imagine if the Kings get the AC. Hmm. And we destroyed. Well, I said, imagine if the Kings get the AC. And we oh yeah, that's it. just definitely that would be, that would be no way. Amazing. It's no way. No way. But yeah, definitely, we're definitely Grizzlies fans. Yeah. Second. <laughs> well, we're Grizzlies fans. We're John Morant <laughs> um, stands. We're definitely gonna be yeah. rooting for them. So, so you're most scared to face who? Because I know mine. Yeah, um, honestly, I was looking at the standings today, and I saw the Trailblazers are like two games or like one game behind the Grizzlies, and I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna need them to, you know, tank, right? <laughs> I'm gonna need the Trailblazers to not get the AC and the Grizzlies to take the AC because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to see Dame, Dame Dollar cooking up, you know what I'm saying? Like, making Caldwell Pope do the name and stuff like that. No, I'm not trying to see that. I'm not trying to see Steve Dillon come and go crazy. Hey, I'm out, Anthony. He's still a vet. He's still a sharpshooter. You know what I'm saying? He can still hit that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I like, understand that you haven't, le- you haven't lied in the last couple of minutes. Right, right. So I'm just saying, like, you know, I'd rather see the young Grizzly, you know, get the little mark in the NBA. You know, Trevor, they've already been here before, right? Yeah, we don't need it. It's selfish at that right. point. Like, no, yeah, exactly. let the young bulls do it. You don't have to always just be winning. Right, right, you know? right. Plus, we've lost to the Trailblazers pretty. It was insensitive what they did to us but it was also just you know it was bad we weren't good yeah they have the potential to 
I hate to say it. I feel like they have the potential to really, I mean, not only make it a deep, like, round. That's why it's scary. But, yeah, it's scary. Oh, no. I'll be the one to say it. Yeah, I'm scared. Because I was, I was thinking about this, too. I was, you know, um, talking to someone about, like, the NBA bubble. And because they're in Orlando, like, mm-hmm. no one's home. No one's away. So, it's anyone's game. One through eight. I'm telling you, like, just because, you know, Lakers, you already know that we're going to do what we're going to do. But you said, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's anyone's game. Yeah. The home crowd really does change. Like, some people can't right. handle right. the heckling. Some people some people it fuels them up. So, it's on both sides. Right. It's definitely but, a tournament. You know what I'm saying? Literally. And you know you know how the Trailblazers can get. You know how Damian Lillard yeah, can get. Very you streaky. Know how, very new one. Yeah. I mean, they're going to kill us. At the end of the day, they're going to kill us. Because we we don't have every Bradley. Oh yeah, we don't. So yeah, yeah. the defense. Records don't mean anything. Yeah. Records well, do not mean anything. Well. I mean, they do, but you know what I'm saying? Like I get what you're saying. Yeah. At the end of the day, Caruso's not gonna be able to guard, you know what I mean. <laughs> We're getting eaten. We're gonna get eaten up. Um, our guards, our guards are gonna right struggle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's gonna be but, um, very embarrassing. Maybe it's gonna average forty. We have we have to. So I don't want to face them first round because it's basically like we didn't even get the first round advantage. We're supposed to be fa- facing a, tra- a trash team, right? But let's not um, graze over the fact that the Grizzlies. Um, I, I was watching the game. They were playing the Pelicans yesterday. Mm-hmm. I was watching part of it, and they said that they uh, lead the league in points in the paint. Actually, so you know the Grizzlies. Like just because we say you know what I'm saying that we want the Grizzlies, but I'm not scared. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's don't like know. there's like bears and then there's cubs. Right. They're like still in the mother's womb to me. I mean, <laughs> I mean they did, they did. They're adolescents. Yeah, yeah. They're they're baby bears for sure. I mean, I think um, they're graham cracker bears for sure because I think remember we played them earlier. <laughs> we played them earlier, but they did take us to like. Did it go to overtime? I can't remember, but it was super close. They're a right. good team for sure. They can they can hit the three. They went, like you said, scoring the paint, but I'm not scared of them. In a, in a seven game series, it's just not even. No, yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, I'm just hang, shaking my head for them. But Trailblazers, I'm scared. You know, Spurs, right, I'm easy. losing no sleep. Right. Pelicans, I I would love that. I mean, that's just a dream come true. I mean, that'd be fun, <laughs> funny for me. Yeah. Kings, that's uh, I mean, that's historical. I would want. I'd rather want that. I want the Kings. I want the Kings so we can smack them. Yeah, like a rivalry type of thing. Yeah, right, I right. I want their fans to get happy, right? We made the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Gone that quick. Yeah, that would be kind of, you know, tragic. Yeah, because yeah, they love to throw shots on Twitter. You seen that? They, they yeah. love to be funny. It's <laughs> like, what's funny? A single ring. You right, know? look at your record. Look at your pie. You know, you're joking, like, but the- is it funny? Put that energy right. into practice. And maybe we can. No, it's something. because they're still salty about what happened. In oh, that. yeah. I know. And that's just the tragic truth, but they're not going to make it. And we just all know that. But um, talking about leagues around the league, you know what I mean? Leagues around the league, teams around the league. Um, the Nuggets. The Nuggets. Very deep um, bench, very deep team. One of the mm-hmm. deepest teams, I think. And um, Michael Porter Jr. just. has been projected to go to not the finals, but probably the Western Conference finals. You know? they're, they're, it's going to be tough. Good. It's going to be tough. It's gonna be tough if we if we have to face them. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be yeah. pretty pretty honest. And uh, Michael Porter Jr. scored 37 for them career high. I think his last career high was 25 points. He usually averages like seven points. So he just he just snapped and went off. Um, 37 points, 12 rebounds. Huh? He got very efficiently. He was 12 for 16, and it wasn't like he was shooting all layups either. He had like a couple threes. I saw, and he was pulling. Crazy. I'm a little scared. I'm also scared. But we knew. Huh? But the thing is, we knew. We knew MPJ was going to be tough. Yeah. It was just a matter of when, you know. Right. His injury right. kind of messed him up. It was a matter of when. But I'm scared of him for a couple of reasons. Not just because of this game, but he also thinks that the virus, virus is a hoax. Very scary individual. Um, I just want to be the one to say that first, Michael. You scare me. Um, I don't want to be personally. Not that I don't want to be around you, but. I'm wearing, I'm double masking it. I'm gonna be double yeah. masked up because yeah. you're a threat. You're a bioweapon and I'm, I'm nervous. That's some Kyrie Irving logic. 
<laughs> but he takes it seriously, right? Doesn't he? Right. That's what I'm saying. But Michael you know, Carter. Kind of... Yeah, he said it's a conspiracy. Right. When people's family members literally have died from it. I mean, I think that's just a little scary to still be on that wave. You know, how old is he now? Is he twenty? He's like twenty something. You're old enough, babe. That was twenty <laughs> two decades. Right, right. But anyway, uh, yeah, he, he he got his little 37 points, 12 rebounds. Let's not yeah. overlook the fact that Jokic had a triple-double. and It was a 30-point triple-double. 30-point triple-double. So when people are talking about this, they're like, oh, bro, Michael Porter just, yeah, but you. Jokic, Jokic has been the heart of that yeah. team. Yeah. Okay, come on. Thank you. Thank you. And the thing is, they had people missing, um, a couple people missing, so they had to kind of step up. But they did. They won over the Thunder. In overtime, and I think Jokic was the one that carried it in overtime, but Michael Porter Jr. just carried it. Um, the regular uh, four quarters, and I'm scared of this team. I just wanted to bring it up because I just want to let everyone know I'm also scared of this team. You know, they have a very deep bench. Everybody on any given night is going to do their part. They really play as a team. Their team chemistry, they're very cohesive. Are you scared of this team, yes or no? As a Laker fan, just be honest. It's okay. <coughs> this is a safe space. Um, Honestly... Um, I'm not scared of this team in a seven game series because I know what you know we bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? You for the Nuggets, you know what I'm saying? Jokic, he's the heart of the team, but every other player, you know what I'm saying? You have four players, they have three points, right? They have a deep bench, but they only have three points. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah, but they can't. You know, like, you know what? You know what Jokic is going to bring? Uh huh. Paul We're just Gary Harris. No, 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 but they do. They do. They do. They will. I mean, obviously, they're going to have games off, but they do. They, 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 they do. I, I just don't think in a seven-game series. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I have faith in us. I have more faith in us than I'm scared, but, but yeah, right. I don't. you're right. You're right. I'm going to be honest. You're right. Right. But they are, they are a deep team. They're a good team. You know what I'm saying? They have the length. They have um, the depth. They have a good coach, too. Yeah. Mike Malone. Exactly. He's a great exactly. Coach. exactly. Didn't he get – there was two coaches of the years, right? Did they do co-coach this year? I can't remember, uh, but I think the – I thought – I can't remember. But if I were to vote, I, my coach of the year would have to be, uh, honestly, Frank Vogel or um, Billy Donovan. Frank, I think Billy Donovan got one. I think he was right. co-coach. He, the Thunder are the six – Jeez. Sick. I thought they were going to be. I mean, I didn't know what I thought they were going to be, but. Terrible. Yeah. yeah. They're a team. I didn't think they were going to be a team. Yeah. He definitely yeah. deserves it. I thought the Bucks coach got it. Oh, yeah. I think he got it last year, too, right? Because the Bucks have the best record. Yeah. I mean, that that one's. He deserves that. Um, LeBron also could get coach of the year, but, you know. The way he coached. <laughs> and GM of the year. And yeah, GM of the year. President of the year, VP of right. the operations. Of the year. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, um, uh, talking about speaking of the Suns, we weren't speaking of the Suns, but <laughs> let's talk about them simply because they made a bad decision. Okay, they decided to trade away T.J. Warren, mm-hmm. which I often mistake for P.J. Tucker because T.J. and P.J. just so a walking similar. bucket. The walking bucket. They traded him for cash considerations. They traded him for cap relief. Now they just wanted to sign. Their logic was they wanted to re-sign um, Ubre, right? Right. They wanted to re-sign Ubre. They just wanted some cash. They were broke. I'll just be the one to say it. I mean, I know it's embarrassing. I'll be the one to say it. They were broke. And so they wanted to do that, and uh, they ended up trading TJ Warren away. Was that smart? For them, they lost. <laughs> so no, it's not smart. Just, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah, it's not. No, because for TJ Warren is good because he's in a playoff team. You know what I'm saying? But for the Suns, no. Wait a minute. Because what? What Devin place Booker, were the Pacers? That could have been Devin Booker's co co star. You know what I'm saying? Because Devin Booker, we all know he's gonna leave. Okay. Yeah. He's got it. Yeah. I mean, the Suns just over to LA anyway. Up on the highway, up on Highway One, and just come over across the. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is it really Highway One? I don't know. Just, okay, chaos. Uh, I was like, you yeah. haven't been in Cali. And, and um, you know what I'm saying? So he just needs to, you know, make up his. But yes, T.J. Warren. Uh, we've been knowing he's a bucket. You know what I'm saying? You uh, Pacers, they picked up a good one. And he had, you said he had 53, and then he had 34 versus the Wizards. 
I was just about to say because I only only reason I knew of him. I'm gonna be honest. Only reason I knew of him was because last Did year. Did you Butler fight? No, not that. Uh, and I still am confused. Fill me in on that. There's like a beef with that. What happened with that? I think it's just like typical, bit, like you know, just Talks, talk, talking trash. I talking. So they had a fight, or it was just no, like, they had a fight. They, you know, they're just talking. You know how they on play. Twitter yeah. or was it like in like during a game type. No, they they like like tangled during the game, and then they took it to Twitter after. When was this? This was like like the second half, like right before you know Corona started. Oh snap! Really? Dang, that's interesting. Ooh. Okay, I like I like beefs. They're they're funny. They're funny. I want to see I want to see that. I hope I we see that in the playoffs. That'll be a good um, a good uh, round. Uh, yeah. We need some more of those those storylines that like make it a little more interesting than just basketball. Like you know, that's what makes yeah. it. Yeah, I would that that'd be cool. But um, I was gonna say the only reason I knew him was because of uh, fantasy basketball. Okay, he was on the Suns. I was just looking at stats and I'm like, wait a minute, who is this up here? I don't care. Let me pick him up. And I was just picking him up and dropping him off waivers and stuff, and nobody would touch him because they just didn't know who he was. I guess. Guess what? I won. I won. But. Not the point, not here to brag. I'm just saying that's the only reason I knew him. But I never really watched his games like that to know how he played. You know, I never did. But um, apparently he's a bucket. I'm talking about contested threes, shooting. I'm talking about he goes over a screen, he's going to shoot it. I mean, oh, my God. No space. Right. He, no he plays no defense, but he can put the no, ball. No, no, no. But the thing is, though, against the 76ers, he was. And I think the Wizards. He was still in the ball. He was deflecting his. I mean, yeah. he was doing it all. CK, on both sides yeah. of the ball. It was sick. What type of Corona does he have? Or something? <laughs> okay, yeah. He's sick. He's sick. So I will say that. He's sick. I mean, I'm talking about scoring yeah. inside, mid range, yeah. and when yeah. exorbing contact, just making random weird shots. We I'm like, know. where did we this come from? Right. Who is he? I thought he was. I don't know what I thought he was. But um, that was sickening to see. Is Victor Oladipo back, right? He's playing, right? I don't think so. I think he's still injured. I thought he was. I thought no, I think he opted out. I think he opted out. Are you sure? Let me look. I swear he was back. I swear he was back. Because I know he was injured and came back for a little bit. And then... Um, I know I heard he opted out, but then I thought I saw something about him in the bubble. But I can't remember. I need to start watching more of these other these other games. It's just the Lakers games are so interesting, you know. But but and plus you know the East, the East, the East. But but what I will say is to back up my point, the game was in the high one twenties. The score I said. Which one? Pacers versus Seventy Sixers. Yeah. I can't watch that. I mean the Lakers. We don't they don't play around with that. We're gonna we're no, gonna play defense. Play. I don't want to see an all star caliber game in the bubble. Yeah. yeah. No. I no. Yeah. No, so I can't deal with that. Hey, 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 yeah, no defense. No defense. Speaking of defense, <laughs> the Rockets, okay, the Rockets beat the Bucks. Ooh. 120 to 116. How do you feel about the Rockets? The Rockets beating the Bucks. What is the significance of that? Like, why is that so serious? Hey, I got two words for you small ball. Okay. Got the new wave. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like they're fourth. They're the fourth seed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying like they're not. You know they're not first. You know, they're not Lakers. But you know, but um, they 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 did their job. You know what I'm saying? Harden did what he. You know what I'm saying? Like he's usually not known for playing defense, but you know he locked up Giannis. That, right? That's surprising. You know what I'm saying? And Russell Westbrook he had 30. So honestly, they they're 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 a team. If if they they're if playing team. defense. Uh-huh. <laughs> if Harden's playing defense and Westbrook drops, you know, triple doubles like he did when he won the MVP, mm-hmm. their team, right? Um, here's, my but, thing. Um, here's my thing. I'll I, don't be the that, I don't think that. Um, I think the Bucks just had a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> let's just let's yeah. just deflate their joy because I'm just yeah. gonna be the the one to to be the negative belly. They're 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 way better than whatever they played. Now I will admit they the Rockets did beat us before with their with their small ball lineup, and I feel like Anthony Davis was playing. But that was the first time. It was like the first or second time they ever debuted the small ball lineup. I don't think we knew what to do. Uh, yeah, I, remember, I remember that game. Yeah. But um, what I will say, first of all, you said earlier they, they took 61 threes. 
Right. There's a lot of driving, a lot of kicking. That's all you can do against the Bucks. I mean, they let's be they basically the Bucks beat them in points in the paint, rebounds, deep, like defense efficiency. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like the Bucks are always gonna give you those three. Uh-huh. Always. You know what I'm saying? But they just fell short of the three. You know what I'm saying? But the Rockets, they always known for shooting like 70, 80, 90, 100 threes a game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know? Six they forced twenty three turnovers, season high. 15 steals. I'm trying to get it right. 15 right. steals, season high, right? 23 right, turnovers, right. 30 points off of turnovers. Right. right. And they defended well. Of course, the rebounds, they could have gotten destroyed. They would have gotten destroyed in the rebounds if it wasn't for They were shooting a lot of threes, so obviously the rebounds were long. That's lucky. Right. That's right. lucky. Because, right. God forbid, they drop right there by the, the rim. Giannis is just barely reaching his right. finger up and grabbing right. him over. Harden trying to jump with both legs and, yeah, and the beard yeah. and still didn't get up yeah. any high enough. But and I, was think- looking, I was looking at the, uh, you know, the stats and uh, on the Bucks part, mm-hmm. and a good sign for the Bucks is that Chris Milton finally did something. Because he's been quiet since the bubble has been really? <laughs> bubble size. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. No, like seriously. He can, he can go off. I don't, know, you know? I, don't know what, I don't know what happened to him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Chris Milton, he went off. You know, he did his thing because he was a little quiet. Yeah, so, I mean, the the saddest part about this. They still fell short. Yeah, no, it was a bad night for the Bucks, like you said. It was a bad night, and I hate to be the one to break it to the Rockets, but because no one else is gonna break it. Everyone's like hyping them, and I get it. It's an exciting little win and stuff, but I'm I'm just gonna be the one to say, you did all this, everything you did perfectly. The Bucks literally fell short on every accord, and you only won by four. <laughs> Yeah. Is that Honestly, not a loss? I, I say they, they, their team, but I'm not. Seven game series. I mean, you forced 20 season high, your best ever, 15 steals, 30 points off of turnovers, and the margin was only four points. So to me, the only thing I saw out of this, well, okay, I saw two things. You can tell me what you saw, but what I saw was how good the Bucks actually are because they had a horrific night. Against the what fourth seed in the West, and still only lost by four. That's sickening. That puts a little bit of not really fear in my heart because I've seen what we can do against the Bucks. We can do it, but I'm just saying. I mean, because you know, yeah, because you you know what Giannis is gonna do. Yeah. Chris Middleton, you know he's gonna do. And I saw Lopez. Huh? Even Brooke Lopez. I know, and it's like crazy the small ball lineup because it's like you think you would think that. With that, you know, people like him would just dominate. You know, yeah. which he did. He did, but he does that every night. He does. He put in like 20-something points. He does that every night. He does that every night. And that's what I'm saying. When if, when and if, you know, if we see them in the playoffs, it is eating. All day. He's, He's eating, eating, but what happened in our game? I think it's more about, because we're going to hey, get I, those points. I, think that, I remember that because AD didn't have a big game. Really? He so, didn't? Yeah, I, I think I remember our that. defense is going to be the key, or anybody's defense guarding that team. I think we underestimated. That's the one thing I will say. We did underestimate. I underestimated them. I thought that the, it was stupid. I'll be the first. I'll raise my hand. I thought it was stupid. I thought they were just going to definitely lose. Um, the small ball lineup. I thought it was just a dumb idea. You know what I mean? Like really against Jokic, against Davis, against all these big teams. It's, come on now. But they've proven that it's working. You know, what they're doing is working. They have enough defense to hold them off, and their Which offense is, is so potent, you know what I mean, that it's really you, you got people like P.J. Tucker guarding Anthony Davis, Jokic, Merkic. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, yeah, it, both of them, literally. It's it's sickening, but I don't know. What do you think about the line? Like the small ball idea, like you were saying before. Like, I can see – you know, if if, if this turns, it, they would have to win a championship for the NBA to shift to small ball. You know what I'm saying? If they don't win, then it's. Well, well they, I don't think. First but then, of yeah, yeah, you know, obviously, I, they, they're not going to win. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. They would have to. Win. And that's that's what I'm saying. That's what, like, the same thing with Steph Curry. You know, when he came in the league shooting threes, he changed, he changed the game. That's true. You know that's what I'm really saying? True. But, you know what I'm saying? They, they would have to win. To show that uh, small ball works, but I don't think they—I don't see them going we any further. We have too many. Like, we have too, too many teams that rely on bigs. You know what I mean? Right, we have right. too many big—not too many, but we have a lot of 
big teams. Like, what? They're just going to forget, ditch the center and just have him in the yeah. back pocket? Like, no, yeah. they're not going to do that. I mean, the post game's already gone anyway, so. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And but if, but, yeah. They're now starting to get out like AD. That's why he was able to get that 42-point triple-double. Not triple-double, right. but that 42-point. Exactly. Stat line. Because, you know, he was out on the three, you know. Uh, uh, it's a new game. It's a new game. It's exactly, changed. yeah. So, I agree. I agree. I, so, should we be worried? Yes or no? That's my main question. Should we be no. worried? <laughs> no. no. Really? I don't think we should be worried. In a seven-game series, I don't think we should be worried either. But they're yeah, better awesome. than I, you know what I mean? I did yeah. understand. But. I think a lot of people expected them to, you know what I'm saying, when they lost Capella. No, because that's Capella was a good. He was a very vital piece. You know their deep playoff runs in the past. Yeah, exactly. Well, um, that brings us to the last question. It's just a simple question. You know what I mean? Since we already won, your teams are still in the bubble, trying to blow the bubble. We we popped it. But um, how should we approach the last couple games now that we've already clinched? Because literally, we could lose every single game. Rest. And still. So so you think rest is the way. Rest. Yes. Rest. Please rest. We need you know what I'm saying? It's 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 different because, you know, coronavirus, you know, COVID. So this adds another factor. So just don't don't just don't be young. Wait, what do don't you take, mean? I don't know. They're you know in the saying? bubble though, they're like, not gonna catch it. Well then I, mean, I know I they're, they're not gonna catch, catch it, but I'm just saying like that's a that's that's something that you know, I don't know. Like that's just another factor in you know, the motion that can be kicked in the motion. You know what I'm saying? I don't, How? Know, maybe, I don't know. If like, somebody gets like, corona, they're shutting that down, I think. Or or if, if they one get person, it, if they if one person gets it and they play and they there's no way they can get it though because they immediately they test every day, right? If the they come back inconclusive, they're done. You can't play. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see because yeah. if they do On test, top of like injuries. On top of like injuries too, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that could happen. I get it because yeah, they okay. got to quarantine to come back up. and stuff. Right. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're saying just rest. Right. Yeah, I agree. Like, like you said, like they they can lose all the rest of the games, still be a first seed. So really taking it serious, guys. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. this is time to just experiment with lineups. To right. be honest, um, they are. I don't remember yeah. who our remaining schedule is. I should have written that down. But um, if we play, like, let's say the Rockets, like, we need to experiment. Let's see what lineups can playing. work. I think we are playing the Rockets. Good, great, great. We just need to see what we lineups play the Thunder next on Wednesday. Thunder? Mm, interesting. Mm. Tomorrow? So, yeah, I think we need to just experiment with lineups, experiment with um, rotations, see what's going on. Because we don't need to. We don't need to have them in playing heavy minutes. LeBron especially, AD especially. AD is very fragile. Right. He is, and I cringe every time he lands. He goes right. for a jump shot. He's going to kick his feet out. Like, goes for, yeah, he goes forward. When he yeah. shoots, his feet it's go sickening. forward. Like, that's, and I, can just like, see, I can just see ankles breaking. Go literally forward. rolling. Like, the last <laughs> he, he, he played against uh, the Jazz, he, he shot something, and he landed on the foot of the person. Yeah, I was I like, started please, crying. Please. I was like, no, please. So I just I feel like I don't know I'm really scared if someone gets goes, no, goes down they, we're they, down. They, yeah, you we know need everybody. We need everybody. And you know he's had injuries in the past. I mean injury riddled, should we say? So right. it's a tragic situation. Right. So we need. So yeah, I, I agree. Right. Rest and just strategize. I think is more. Important. Right, right. You know, if we go if we go zero and eight, whatever, how many games are left? Zero and eight, three and five, whatever. Doesn't you know matter. I agree. Doesn't matter. I agree. All right, well, that was fun. Yay! Woo! That was basically the first podcast. We're going to be doing more. I don't know if it's going to be a, maybe like a weekly. I'm thinking a weekly, but we just need to get the dates down and, and, you know, all of that. Because when playoff comes, you know, the playoff predictions and all that stuff, uh, you know, that's going to, everyone always wants to hear that. So this will be interesting. So if you have any topics y'all want us to talk about, leave it in the comments. Okay, subscribe. If you haven't yet, because this is the second channel, so subscribe if you haven't yet, because at the end of the day, why? What are you doing? Exactly. Exactly. So, go ahead and do that, and that's about it. Signing off, anything else you have to say? Any last words? Um, Playoff starts in 10 days? No. About a week. About a week. Mm -hmm. About a week. So, we're, we're... We're getting geared up for that. So, uh, you know, go Lakers. <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, we'll talk to y'all later.
Peace. All right.